Hey guys, okay, September day 9. As I said, I was going to do something different. So, I'm going to cook with you guys. Yay! So, I got everything lined up here. You won't see me, you'll see what I'm doing. So, we got cabbage. We got um, Yay. sheep's meat. This is... Uh, this isn't done anything to well maybe it's salted I'm not really sure but it's sheep's meat and then we got um, peppers whole peppers we got salt and we got flour yeah and I also have four deciliters of water so Let's just get started. First off, I'm just going to open up, hang on, right, open up this, so right here, so I have a big um, pan, pot, whatever, taking my rings off, yeah, Start getting things under my rings, so what I'm doing first is Getting rid of this stickiness. Hang on. Just gotta dry my hands off. Uh oh, baby girl is on the climb. Sorry. Look, baby girl. <laughs> yeah. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking these pieces of shape. Um. And I'm placing them with the fat side down. You can see there's loads of fat here. I'm placing them with the fat side down all over the bottom of my pot. Pan pot. I don't know what you're going for. So I'm taking those that has the most fat on them and not the ones that has only a little bit. So. Doesn't matter because the rest are low on fat. Yeah. And one last one, like that. I now have filled the bottom of my pot. Um, come on, I don't know what is cold. So, just drying off my hands. So now to start with the cabbage. So, and this is so hard. This is like a massive piece of cabbage. Whoops! There goes baby girl! <coughs> Hang on. They can't eat it or son live at it. They must have eaten that. Son, that can you stop. That can you can't stop. Son, son can you stop. Son, can you stop. Sorry, just had to help it. And as you know, right now I can't edit my videos well. If they're not too long, I can, but when they're long, I can't. Okay, we are going through like that. That was first. Whew. And I'm actually going to pick up this one because it's got this hideous thing on it. So, cutting this one into yet again, putting that to the side. Doing the same with the next one, like that. And now you can see this part right here. We want to cut that one away. So I'm just taking one and throw it like that. 
this one gets chopped because it's not edible and now I'm just slicing this into like pieces like this and as you can see my meat is in there so I'm just placing the cabbage the whole parts of the cabbage on top because this dish is actually making itself so placing this on top like that now taking the next one cutting off the center part chucking and I need one more maybe two more for this one and a small one there like that I need all these small pieces because these the small pieces the reason why you're using big pieces is because if not it's just going to be mush so I have that right now now taking my flour and taking a little bit of flour I don't know how much just spreading that over top and I use maybe a little bit more flour than others because I want the water to have a thicker consistency using quite a bit of salt and now I'm taking the whole peppers and taking about this much peppers spreading that over this round now going back to the meat stacking the meat on top of this again I actually do think my pan is too small but that's okay hopefully it will work anyways because it is better if you use a higher pan or pot or I wish I knew what to call it because I would say a pan nor would we say a custard or left yeah and I think this will actually be perfect even though yeah it's gonna be jam packed like that now I have meat on top just gonna wash my hands and again because you can't mix raw meat and the cabbage Nana. or you will have cross contamination which is not good whatsoever now putting this one and just going back to the cabbage and now I'm going to use all of this cabbage well actually I'm going to put some more flour actually on this part because yeah cabbage will be on top so no need to put flour on top of that and this does boil down because the cabbage does shrink a lot so and I so need to get some bigger pans, bobs, pans, pans it's a pot, I'm going to call it a pot and not the illegal kind of pot this is the legal kind of pot yeah. chucking that away look too good whoops like that we're just trying to get everything into this one because I want all this yumminess. Now, just slicing this really, really, really thin and spreading them on top. That's what I'm going to do. So you see, it just, it is quite high, so there's quite a lot, but that's okay. I'm actually going to have some salt on top of this again, and yes, I'm messing a lot. And where did I put? there a little bit more peppers like that and if you don't like the peppers 
um, to have to pick them up because it's quite hard to eat the peppers because it will stink and if you don't like having to pick up your food you can always get one of those um, tea bag holders or tea holders or, or something like that and put the peppers in. Now taking the water and just pouring it carefully on top here like that and I might have to add some more water because my lid is not going to be able to cover the um, dish to begin with so it might actually evaporate some of the, the, the water that I add but that just means I have to add some more so now cleaning up after myself first do -de -do -de -do. Do -de -do -de -do. Like that. Now placing this on the plate. Looking for my lid. Whoa, okay. That just came flying. And as you can see, my lid is like resting on top of everything, but that's okay. So that is dinner done. I'm just going to put the plate on. And I'm only putting it on like two or three. Yeah. Sorry, baby and knives and all good combo. So I'm putting... I'm actually putting mine on three right now and just leaving it like that so that will stand there and that will make itself and that is a traditional Norwegian dish called foriko or sheep and cabbage or sheep in cabbage so hope you enjoy that and I'll do my walk in um yeah in a little while so so that was um, September day nine. Oh, I lost count oh my lord it's September day 9 September day 9 I said I was going to lose count I told you um, and this is the dinner part and I'm actually gonna upload this in two parts so I'll do my walk as well so Bye, see you soon.